Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing my everyday makeup basket for August of 2019, but I'm doing this a little bit differently. We're gonna do this in a more of a shop my stash style. So I currently am in the process of reorganizing my whole makeup collection, which it's still a bit of a mess, but this is my new like everyday makeup basket setup, kind of in here, and then also like this drawer over here for foundations. So I'm keeping like powders, highlights, kind of anything like that in like these two drawers. I'm keeping foundations over here, primers in here, and then lipsticks in here. And then all the way over here, I've got like my eye products. And then over here, I've got concealers. So that's kind of the layout I'm currently working with. In my ideal world, I would like this whole thing to be my everyday makeup basket and have all of my makeup storage on the other side. I'm still working on that. I think I have to pick up one more of these containers, but that's the, the end goal. So I don't wanna do a whole tour until I can get it all organized kind of the way that I want, but this is what we're working with for right now. And I did empty out most of the drawers so that we could actually go together through my collection and actually pick my products out. Normally for this series, I do that beforehand and then I just show you all the products that I picked, but I, I wanted to change things up a little bit. So I actually wanna show you the process of what I'm going to be picking out for each section. So don't forget to let me know down below in the comments if you like this kind of different style to this video better than the previous versions or if you like it better when I pick everything kind of like off screen and then to show you what I'm using for the month. So let's go ahead and just jump into our primer drawer. So these are all the primers that I had in my everyday makeup basket. There is a lot here. So let me go ahead and grab my primer drawer real quick. So this is the primer drawer in my collection. It is mainly setting sprays because I kind of had to combine them together. Ideally, again, I'm still reorganizing. I would like a whole drawer of just setting sprays and then a drawer of primers. So this is kind of a mixture right here. These are two primers that I'm gonna go ahead and put back into my main primer drawer and out of my everyday makeup basket because I'm not really using them, but I can use them year round. Right now, I'm trying to use up like my mattifying primers that I can really only use during the summer. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer in Pore Minimizing, and then the Cover FX Blurring Primer. They are very similar. The Smashbox one is almost empty, and like the Cover FX one is like half empty. So I'm gonna put those, I'll figure out a way to make these all fit in the drawer. I recently moved two samples into my Everyday Makeup Basket after my last trip because I really liked these. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Skin to Die For No Filter Mattifying Primer and Complexion Perfector. That is one hell of a name. And then the Burberry Fresh Glow Luminous Fluid Base, which is one of my favorite like primers of all time. And I've been hoarding like the sample for like forever. <laughs> so I'm going to keep these in my everyday makeup basket just to finish them up because I think both of them are about this time like half empty. This primer from Cumber Cover FX is almost empty, so I'm gonna keep it in here. This is the mattifying primer with anti-acne treatment. It is like my holy grail primer. I think it's just a little bit expensive for what it is, but I, I love it. So I'm gonna continue using this until I finish it up, which I think with what's left in here, I can finish it by the end of August. Last but not least, I have this primer that I picked up in my last Shop Miss A haul video. This is the AOA Studio Wonder Skin Mattifying Primer. Unfortunately, I think this is like too mattifying. Like it's actually giving me dry spots and it's making my makeup look horrible on top of it. But I'm gonna keep testing it out so I can actually give you a full review. But so far, I'm not a huge fan, but I'm gonna try some more things with this to see if I can make it work. The only thing that I want to move out of my regular primer drawer into my everyday basket is this Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And this is in Sin, so I think this is a bit tinted. So I'm going to try and use this up. There's actually these samples, like the big bubble ones, you can use this for like weeks <laughs> of eyeshadow primer. Like it's a lot of product in here. We're going to go a little bit later into my concealers where I show you what I've been using as an eyeshadow primer. But I think I want to move those out and move over to using up this sample. There we go, so we've got our primers picked out. Next, I wanna move on to foundations because quite honestly, I don't think it's gonna be a lot of change in this drawer since it's still summer. I will move this out though. So this is the Garnier Act Skin Active BB Cream. This is something I remembered using a long time ago, like before I was into makeup as a foundation and I tried using it as a foundation and it kinda was uh, trash. 
but I used this as a primer, like applying it with my hands, using it as a primer, and I actually really liked it as a primer. So I think I'm gonna make room in my primer drawer and just use this as a primer because I was actually very impressed with it. It's very glowy, it actually helps like smooth out parts of my skin, and I really liked it as a primer. Not really great as a BB cream, but an awesome primer. And the rest of my drawer is gonna stay the same. This is basically a repeat of my um, perfect summer foundation video that I just came out with not too long ago. I am sticking to the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation, the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless, and the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation along with my LA Girl White Mixer because despite my best efforts, I am still um, pale. Okay, so let's go ahead and move to my actual like storage section of my makeup collection to pick out the rest of my products. So here we are in my face powder, blush, and bronzer drawer. I'm currently panning a bronzer, so I don't think I'm going to pick another one out. And I do have a face powder I'm going to show you once we get over to the drawer. So really, I think I'm just going to pick out a blush to use along with the blush that I'm panning. Um, I've got this one from Pretty Vulgar. I've got this one from Geek Chic Cosmetics. Um, the last one that I used was this other ABH one, which is in Pool Party. I think I really want to bring out this NARS one. So I've got this little NARS duo, and it's actually like a blush and a highlight. So it's the blush in Orgasm, and then it's the highlight in hot sand. So the highlight is in hot sand. So I'm going to bring this out and see if I can get a little bit of use out of this one. Down to the highlight drawer. I have so many highlights. Um, and there's one in particular that I actually wanted to pull out a palette. So this is the ABH Sun Dipped Glow Kit. I really want to pull this out and get a little bit of use with it because theoretically this is the tannest I'm going to be, which is kind of shocking because I'm still pale. But I did see a tutorial once where someone used bronzed that shade as a contour slash bronzer. So if there's any time I'm going to use this and do that, it's going to be now. So I'm going to pull this out. I'm debating whether to pull out like another highlight. I think I'm going to. Okay, let's look through. I've got this Jeffree Star in Iced Cold. I've got this MAC highlight. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to bring this one out. So this is a highlight from Geek Chic Cosmetics. It is a loose highlight, but it is a Sailor Moon highlight. This is the Moon Tiara Stardust highlight. And it's a little bit dark, but I'm going to bring this out and get some use out of it this month. All right, so let's move back over to the everyday makeup basket. So before we move in our new products to the drawer, let me show you what I'm keeping in here. For face powder, I'm keeping this Milani face powder in the shade 4 Light Tan. This is actually still too dark to be like a regular face powder. It's like a almost too light bronzer. But I'm trying to use it up because if, I'm, if it's too dark for me now, I'm never going to be able to use it. So I'm trying to finish this up. I've worn away the entire imprint on the product and I think I'm gonna hit pan soon so I'm really hoping I can pan this before the summer is over. Next I have the loose powder that I'm using. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in shade 10 Fair Light. These AOA Studio Perfect products I'm keeping over from last month because I did just pick these up and I still haven't had a chance to fully test them out. This is the finishing pressed powder and this is the loose setting powder. The finishing pressed powder is in ivory and the loose powder is in 22 soft light. We're going to put our blush and highlight into here and I think we're going to put our highlight palette down here, like under here. There we go. Oh no, the powder won't fit. Okay, can we, can we make this work? I think we can. Beautiful. So I think we should go through concealers next because I have quite a few concealers and I think I'm just going to pull a few of these out and back into my concealer drawer. I've been using these two as an eye primer and I feel like I want to change it up and try something new. So I'm going to put these back into my concealer drawer. These are the Makeup Revolution Cut Crease Canvases. One in the shade White and then one in the shade Illustrate. I'm also going to move this one back into my concealer drawer. I do like it, but I have a lot of concealers in here. This is the Ulta Beauty Full Coverage Liquid Concealer in the shade Light Warm. 
So let's take a quick look at what we have left in the drawer. I have the Benefit Boing Airbrush Concealer that I'm still finishing up. I have the Kylie Concealer in the shade. What shade are you? This is in the shade Gypsum, which is unfortunately too dark for me, so I do have to lighten it. And then I have the Mayb <laughs> three heat of the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, which has been my holy grail summer sweat-proof, whatever-proof concealer. I have two of them in the shade Ivory, and then this one's a bit dark. What shade are you? Oh no, this is the Ivory. What's the shade that's working for me? Okay, so I have these two in the shade Ivory, which has been really working for me. This is like my perfect shade match. So this one's almost empty, and I repurchased it because I can't be without like a go-to concealer that I don't have to mix right now. And then this one is in the shade Light Pale, which is surprisingly darker than ivory so this is actually a bit too dark for me that i have to mix or whatever so my go-to right now is actually ivory <laughs> for lipsticks this month i actually don't want to pick too many other ones because i really want to focus whenever like i'm here at home or whenever i can on testing these for my black lipstick video i currently have the black moon cosmetics which literally just arrived in the mail this is in the shade sleepwalker I have the Ofra Cosmetics in the shade The Bronx. I have the MAC Cosmetics. And what shade are you? This is in Caviar. And then I have the Smashbox in Tar Pit. So these are the ones I have so far. I'm actually really excited. I need to pick up a couple of Black Bullet lipsticks and I've got one or two on my mind. But so far, I really want to focus on these and testing these because I want to get that video up in October. Last but not least, we have my bit of a hectic miscellaneous eye drawer. Let's just go through this real quick. I'm carrying over basically my two Holy Grail mascaras, the Wet n Wild Mega Length and the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. I have two brow gels in here. My holy grail is right now the ABH clear brow gel that I can't get enough of, but it's a bit pricey. And also, I love this ultimate brow mascara from Wet n Wild. It's just the wrong shade. It's too brown and it's too warm and it looks so odd on me. So I'm trying to see if I can make it work, but if not, I'm just going to have to like get rid of it. For eyeliners, I still have my Tarte Man Eater Liquid Liner, and then I do have an Urban Decay 24-7 Glide on Eye Pencil, and it's just a black one. I also forgot to mention, I'm finishing up this sample of the Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara. I'm actually really liking it. <laughs> and I actually really like layering it with the Essence Mascara. So I think this is going to be done in the next couple of weeks. Last but certainly not least, I have my NYX Glitter Glue. I don't know how I could quite possibly live without this. This is a, basically a permanent staple in my collection and my everyday makeup basket. All right, so before I finish this, I just wanted to show you a few new products that are in my collection that I really want to test out this month. The first being all of these palettes from ColourPop. So I picked up the main squeeze palette, which is this red-toned palette. I picked up the Blue Moon palette, finally, because I just couldn't really resist when I was placing my order. And I picked up the Orange You Glad palette that I'm actually, like, really excited for. Look how gorgeous this looks. Some products I'm also really excited for are these Stila Glitter and Glows from the White Lies collection. I picked this up because of Leisha's video where these are actually being discontinued, so I got these for $9 each. I have Yellow Tails, Mint Myth, and Peach Passion? No, Peach Pretense. My bad. So I'm gonna see if I can fit the ColourPop palettes like in one of these drawers so I can have them like within arm's reach. All right, so that is everything I'm going to be using for August. Let me know down below if you guys like this new format for this kind of everyday makeup basket instead of just showing you everything that I've already picked out. Thank you guys for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.